Ayos or Saint Nectarios, born Anastasios Kefala, was a Greek Orthodox bishop serving as the Metropolitan of Pentopolis, Libya today, and Cairo, Egypt, sainted in 1961. When St. Nectarios lived and died here, it was a rocky expanse with the small, dilapidated cottages from over 100 years ago still visible on the mountainside, a reminder of the refuge he created for women of Greece. He was an ascetic man meaning he abstained from sex and materialism and fasted often in service to his beliefs. When you arrive at the monastery site of St. Nectarios, you see a large church at the base of a winding path that snakes upwards to the monastery proper. He was controversial in his time for his open-minded writings on the Greek Orthodox interpretation of deity and belief, including a respect for the poor and a belief in aiding humankind regardless of their faith or ethnicity. He was shunned by his superiors in the church who were concerned by this behavior towards those in need, although he was consistently loved by his parishioners. He worked much of his life in public schools and small churches across Greece and wrote and spoke openly on his views that women should be included in Greek Orthodox church proceedings. Ayos Nectarios is particularly beloved for his reverence for women. He was the first to ordain women as deacons in the church. His monastery on Egina was founded for women by women who needed a respite to escape from oppression and safety for the disabled. He wrote the hymn you are hearing, Agni Parthena Despina, Pure Virgin Lady, in the late 19th century. Today, it is in popular use in the Greek Orthodox liturgy, the Sunday service, and one of the most recognizable hymns. It is written as a testament not only to the Theotokos, Mother Mary, but a reminder of his undying respect and service to women. He is a large part of why today's Greek Orthodoxy puts Panagia, mother of all, above anyone except Jesus in the Greek Orthodox Church. Ayos Nectarios is revered throughout Eastern Orthodoxy as one of the most popular Greek saints for his adamantly pure and inspired actions towards all he met and the miracles he performed throughout his life in Egina, Egypt, and Libya. For more on this moving man, often called a miracle worker, his monastery, and his writings, please enjoy the 2021 film Man of God available worldwide and produced in English by Greece, Serbia, and Russia. Thank you for seeking Numina with us today here at Ayos Nectarios Monastery on Egina Island, Greece.